hanging out with me. With yeah. fish. Well, with me, but also scuba diving is her. Okay, so we just got back from Cliff House, uh, the Cliff House, and it was awesome. So this is on the northwestern part of Maui Island, and uh, how you looking, babe? <laughs> A little rough. Looking good? Rough. So it was, for the most part, really fun. Um, you park by a hotel, you walk down a little paved uh, walkway that turns into like a sand trail that you hit the uh, rock banks up and you kind of just set up, you know, camp there. Um, Jess and I brought our snorkeling gear and then I also Lots brought my pools. camera gear. Yeah, so it's in this really cool um, like rock embankment. Like cove. Yeah, it's uh, all the rocks are, you know, like molten lava that's been hardened for, you know, thousands and thousands of years. Um, so it was, it was just really cool just getting there. Um, and then what was on the uh, rock beds that made it really hard to step on? It was like moss, algae, and we were slipping and sliding everywhere. But in the tide pools, there were all these cool fish that looked like Nemo and hermit crabs. These really big crabs. Yeah, we actually found Nemo. Yeah, we found so, Nemo. He's really cute. Hit us up, Pixar. We found him. Um, sea urchins that we tried not to step on, and Sam took his glasses off and couldn't see anywhere. Yeah, so I scary. I cannot wear glasses underneath my goggles. Um, I didn't try it, but Sam I couldn't well, see anything. Couldn't see anything. So I had to put on my fins early so that I could just step on whatever and uh, save my feet but I'm, I had to walk like a hundred feet to where the, the actual water was and uh, so I'm hobbling basically looking like a penguin uh, but man once we got on the water it was it was awesome um, it really does just kind of like drop into the ocean um, there were reefs everywhere with gorgeous fish yeah there's fish with like yellow stripes blue stripes Blue lips. Blue lips, like Botox blue lips. Uh, it was so cool. Um, now, Jess is like an Olympic swimmer. I don't know if y'all knew that. I uh, have not been swimming in a while, so I got a little tired. So I told Jess, I said, I want to sit down over here and take, take a break. Boy, was that a bad decision. The current basically pushes and pulls you into this embankment. And Jess, show them your finger. Jess like cut her finger so bad that you could basically see like the white flesh which is I guess like just before the bone um, yeah so blood is dripping down my arm and Maui apparently is known for shark attacks so we were a little freaked out we were a little nervous now we saw some sharks while we were scuba diving but they were like way below us and they were just like one or two and they were like really far and um, I've heard like safe things about sharks like you know the odds of them actually attacking you are really nil. So when we got back into the water, because Jess now has blood on her hands, we didn't get attacked, but we did notice more. I think they were tiger sharks. One of them was like maybe four feet long, if that. They weren't that big at all. The other ones were way smaller. But uh, yeah, that was a little bit intimidating. Um, but we survived. We're booking it back to where we took off from. Because, Calling butt in the water. Man, because all of those Disney movies tell you that sharks are attracted to water. Blood. Um, you know what? That's from Finding Nemo too. The first they're one. They're attracted to blood, not water. Fish, or yeah, they're attracted to blood in the water. That's what I meant. <laughs> fish are friends, not food. That's from Finding Nemo. Yeah. The first one. Nemo. Um. So yeah. Okay. Anyway, we get back barely, and then I yeah. try to get out and. The waves are pulling me forward and backward, and I'm scraping myself all over these sharp rocks. In her my... booty got cut, is what she's trying to say. Yes, got a little bloody spots on there. So Sam's gonna bandage me up tonight. Yep. <laughs> um. Okay. So, ooh, look at this, man. They pretty. Can't see. Yeah, they can. Cause this is good. <laughs> just seeing it back. Okay. Now we are going to um, poke. Ho Hukupipi. No. Hukipa Beach Park. Hukipa. 
Ho -ki Ho Okupa oh, Beach okay. Park for sunset and sea turtles. So we're gonna go and skip the dinner, we're gonna have that later. Go straight there because it closes at 7, it's 5 30, we're still 45 minutes away, so you do the math. Hopefully it's worth it. Um, oh, oh, oh. and Juice fresh food. Stand. Juice stand. stand. Hit that up on the way back. It'll yes, be late, but we're gonna we're gonna go there at some point. Um, man, such a good, fun, almost perfectly dangerous. safe day, but not safe. How about just no, it wasn't dangerous, it just wasn't 100% safe. That's exactly. It. Woo! We're having fun today. Tomorrow, you know, we're not even gonna tell you what we're doing tomorrow yet. You're just gonna find out. But uh, we still have two activities we're doing today. Sea turtles at Ho Ikapo. And then we're gonna head up stargazing, picture taking at um, at uh, Peru's Bay. So that'll be cool. Okay, enough for now. See you later. Ah!